I don't believe in the balance part. Everybody's always talked about this mysterious balance thing. And if you ask any millionaire or anybody at the beginning, was it balance? No, it wasn't balance. You had to sacrifice something to get to a certain point. Then you can start living life the way you want to. Um, so, but the number one thing was finding people who believe in that philosophy. You know, a lot of people just don't want to be millionaires. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my, I want to be rich out the ass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I want to be, you know, like free, yeah. you know, financially yeah. free. Like, I believe in like your mind is like, it, what is it if I can dream about Africa and never go explore Africa because I can afford it? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's going to be a certain point where like I seen people get old in my family and then when they go, you know, they didn't have anything to leave for that, nothing. They couldn't leave nothing. So it's like, I just don't want to be in that situation, you know? So I don't want to, I want to break a generational curse in my family. And I hope it inspire other people, but I really believe it's like, it's really hard to find people that really want to be filthy rich in America. Like people say that, but they really don't mean it. Like they really don't want to put in the work. If you did, you'd be researching the people who started from ground up, like from bottom to up, you know what I'm saying? Like not the silver spoon people, who like, oh, I got inheritance and I flipped it. Yeah. Not those people, like them people, them stories don't inspire me. But people like Jay-Z and like, you know, he from the prize, you know, he from Marcy Projects and he came up to be a billionaire or just a person like Kanye who was just a regular college kid. You know what I'm saying? Started from nothing. Mm -hmm. That shit is inspiring to me. You know what I'm saying? People who can turn nothing into something. And it's hard to find people that got the discipline to be or wanna sacrifice something because eventually you got to, if you if you don't bone the silver spoon what you're gonna do if you're a young artist you're a teenager you're gonna sacrifice your teens your 20s your 30s or your 40s because when you get to your 50s your body's slowing down you know what i'm saying so what you're gonna do which part of your life are you gonna do i not personally say hey i love my teens that was some fun stuff 20s i should have sacrificed 30s i could have been chilling you know what I'm saying? Because 30s is pretty when you started catching on. But 40s is when you really start living life. And I shouldn't be working right now. If I gave up my 20s playing around. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If I get, Yeah, but now I'm at a point where like I gave up a lot of my 30s. Yeah. So, so I could ride into my 40s on cruise control. But you got to start looking at life like in 10s. You know what I'm saying? Your 20s, your 30s, your 40s, your 50s. Because... Your hustle, a real good hustle, a business, it might take 10 years. So you got to really start thinking about that because people talk about this balance thing. Balance is for rich people. Like, be realistic. You know, like, spiritual health is good. Uh, uh, mental health is good. But you don't need real, I mean, like, you might take a little break. But I'm talking about, like, people be really be like, okay, you know, like, I'm going to work eight hours a day. Okay, try that shit if you want to. <laughs> If you garner from the ground up, try. Oh, I'm gonna have this for I can have nights free. While some, while you having fun, someone your competition is right there up, or outworking you, you know, and to the point where they outworking you, to they outsmarting you, because you start working a point till you start catching on. Like, okay, let me work smarter now. And once you work smarter now, and you did the footwork, everything is really on cruise control from now. Struck the struggle aspect is mo no longer there you know what i'm saying now it's about just you, you struggling to make your dreams come true but build struggles and money struggles them, them gone but you gotta sacrifice at least teens 20s because i really really even 30s you started kind of understanding who you are and for late 30s you start living life and 40s you should be able to just be yeah, you should be able to be like cruise control. So, so 50s, you can retire and sit out. My name is Maya Bailey. You're at Peter Street Station. And watch my black-owned interview right now.